gang in LA has to pay the fucking taxes. We get 30% of everything you Where's the fucking money? Good evening. This is Los Angeles. 40. And you are now listening to Activate LA Radio. Hey, what's up, what's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another great episode of the Activate LA Radio Show. I'm glad you guys are tuning in. We're going to be talking about the tax collector full movie review. And for this review, I needed to have my friend, my good friend, Ernesto Cermudio, man. Ernie, how you doing? Good. I'm doing great, brother. I'm doing great. I'm excited for this. Oh, man, me too. Yeah, I, I... since the movie really came to trailer and everything I, i've been it's it's like i've been waiting for this, this type of movie it's it's weird i don't know i like it a lot <laughs> yeah no same here man since it came out the preview of the movie it was it was it, to me it was interesting and it was the type of movie that that it it had something it intrigued you uh but with it as you know came something right little drama slash you know <laughs> yes. uh somebody was trying to steer the pot him and they did and that was uh brown facing something like that i i, I, I yes I'm paraphrasing let's talk about that from the beginning do you remember okay. that so Yes, yes, because I'm the, I basically, when I froze the trailer, I got pumped up, and then somehow I heard people going, oh my God, look at this, they're brown facing now, uh, you know, he's trying to, trying to, why people are trying to take over brown, a- brown actors and all yeah. this good stuff, and I'm like, no, dude, no, <laughs> dude, have you not seen the trailer? Look, to me, if you can do a good part on any character you want to play, play it. You know what I mean? That that's me. That's my yeah. opinion. But seeing the trailer and growing up, growing up in those type of neighborhoods, you can see how Shell of the Above fits in perfectly in there. You know what I mean? To me, yeah, to me, because yeah. I I, ha- I had that friend that grew up with a bunch of Latinos, or I have you know those people that that grew up around Latinos, and you, they started mimicking. The way you were talking, the way you were handling, hey, homie, como estas? You know, yeah. they, 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 it was cool. It's true, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so to me, I got kind of offended because I looked into it, and it was actually writers that worked in the industry that started this whole drama of of attacking him for being brown and, and not, not being a brown and taking this actor. And that's where I got kind of offended because as a Latino, you, you, you want – the best person to yeah. play that best part you know or our best scenario of that world and sometimes you don't grow up in that world so you don't understand it and you might take it in the wrong direction and i can see that point of view yeah. you know i can see where a latino hasn't grown in that neighborhood or in that type and they don't understand that there are people like that 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 grew up in that same way because like I, I mentioned, is there's people, there's Armenians that dress up like cholos back in the days, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. See, and, and uh, I'm trying to do my best because we were talking before, you know, today and, mm-hmm. and we're talking earlier before mm-hmm. we started the show. And there's a lot that, that I want to say. Same as you, you know, man, I'm excited. <laughs> but I got I got to bring it back to this. To me, this was the first time ever that I heard the term brown facing i've never in my life is it was it me uh, ernie i mean and on the chat i'm gonna be checking the the uh, the the chat so if you guys too if it's the first time that you guys hear uh the term brown facing please let us know because this was the first time let me make a quick commercial ernie uh shout out your your podcast and, and, and anything you want to shout out right now before i forget this it's gonna get intense here so so me and my wife, uh, we we do we have a podcast called Artistic Flavors that you can find us on Spotify, um, and basically we're a mom and pop shop. Basically, my wife's the artist. I'm the technique guy in the background that makes mm. all the cool stuff for her art. So um, if you like spooky, cutie, kawaii art, that's who we are. We make enamel pins, stickers, T-shirts. We're starting to make 3D printing, and we're starting to make. Uh, bags and purses so and we're having factories most of the stuff is made at our house (laughs) wow man that's and that's where the magic begins man 
Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm also going to put the information and the links uh, in the comment section. So if you were watching the, the replay, uh, thank you for doing that. If you're watching this live, I'm still going to drop the link. So, uh, so let's get back to brown facing, the term brown facing, because to me, it was the first, it's the first time ever I've, I've heard of that. So it, I'll be honest, it confused me. Because now with, with like everything <laughs> we're seeing, you know, everything we're seeing, it, it, it kind of like, yeah, what the fuck? But I'm like, wait a minute. Like, we got lat Latinos from different shades. But uh, uh -huh. so was it the first time you, you heard the term brown facing? Brown face? Yeah. Yes. It, it, actually, it was. It really was my first time hearing this. And that's why I kind of got shocked and confused. And, and OK, so they're bringing us into the mix of all of this chaos that's going on there um, and, and things because. And when when I heard it, I'm I was confused and going, okay, what's the what are you trying to example brown face? You know, what, mm. what's the what's the term that you're trying to use as a brown face? Is and and are we using it in in the content that it should be used? Uh, but I don't. To be honest with you, brown face shouldn't be us because if you know our culture, and if you know my family, yeah, we are a mixture. We we have. I have sisters. I have a sister that's so lighter than me. I have <laughs> cousins that have blue eyes, blonde, blonde hair, and white as the milk. Um, I got darker cousins that are super darker than me. So I, I, I when I got, I got confused because exactly. Latinos come in different shades. <laughs> yeah, it really confused me because I was, you know. That's that's the part where I wanted I wanted to go from from the term brown facing, and the reason why we we all kind of like fell for whatever it was, and and, and also to why maybe uh, us or some or I'll say me at a certain point I got offended, is because uh -huh. we saw they gave us a preview of the preview of the movie. Yes. What I'm saying is, is that before I think in my case before I even saw the preview, they were, they were already telling me, "Oh, you know, the, this guy's brown face, you know, he's playing a cholo role and uh -huh. and uh I, spoiler alert, uh I just want to say if you guys haven't watched the film, uh <laughs> please put pause if if you don't if you don't care, uh, keep on watching because there's going to be a lot of spoiler alerts, but also too there's yes, going to be good is. stuff because we're going to be pointing out stuff that that the film they messed up little glitches here and there, but uh, yes. yeah, let me take it back. So, uh, I think we got a preview of a preview. So where they yes. were already telling us, oh, you know, this guy's uh, brown. We you know he's doing a brown face, which he's not at all. Um, and like you were saying earlier, the guy is actually playing the role of of, 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 a, of, a, of a white person that's been around Latinos or, or Mexicans, and yes. he's an assassin. Because to me, like I watched the video that I made. The the the, uh, the reaction video to the preview, and yes. I thought he was trying to be like like uh like a home like a cholo, but it makes sense. Uh -huh. I mean, even if we start hanging out, there's gonna be like little uh -huh. words that I'm gonna pick up from you or vice versa, right? Yes, yes, and that's true. Um, it, it, it is because um, and again, it all it, and I think we talked about this. And let's go back to to L.A. Let's go back. L.A. has different parts of neighborhoods. If you grew up in that certain type of neighborhood, you reflect that that environment that you grew up in, you know. So that does a huge impact on how you grew up, too. And, and that's why this movie, I liked it a lot because it related a lot to how I moved around through L.A. From South Central to Watts to to Compton to Bell Gardens to Southgate to yeah. Honda Park, you Damn. know, to those and those are you all hood different rat, Latinos where you meet. <laughs> <laughs> you were worse than a chacha. <laughs> you yes, were everywhere, yeah. <laughs> city to city. So yeah, so so you could see the environment that each person. I mean, I had friends that grew up in South Central, and she talked differently than my friend that grew up in Whittier. Yeah. You know? So so. It, it they they it, they talk different because they mimic the environment. That's why I like this movie because they brought the true culture of what LA is yeah. when Latinos are involved. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, let, let me uh, for the people that you know maybe they, they don't live in LA and are watching this. Yeah. I'll, I'll try to explain it as short as I can because I want to you know jump into the foot into the video. Yeah. I mean into the movie, but there's a lot, like I said a lot of stuff I want to say. So 
it uh like I know a lot of people when you guys see the the gangster movies, Mexican gangster movies here, uh, uh gangs and all that, you guys see see a cholo or a certain type of cholo, which is um I would say the ones, you know, the old school ones are the ones you see kind of like the style in East LA and like Boyle Heights and around there, you know, and uh and then you have the 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 other cholos gangsters that they're like on this side uh like South Central, uh Inglewood, Lennox, which they you know, they they're the way the way they talk. You know, uh, it's a little bit different. You know, they got a, a lot of slang from black people. Uh, yes. a lot of a lot of neighborhoods on, on this side of the west side, or or south, like west Inglewood Lennox. Um, they you know they get along. You see you see the the, the stilo in a way. Uh, it's a little bit different, but um, yeah. So that's that's what I wanted to say. But um, man, let's jump into the, into into the movie. Um, should we take it from how it starts or where, where do you think it's, it's best? And the reason why I ask is because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all over the place because I want to talk about everything. Oh, no, no. And I, I, I prefer it that way. I prefer being all over the place because it, there's certain parts that stand out a lot more than other places. Um, the, the, uh, basically the movie got stolen by a creeper and that's, yes. uh, the, yes. Um, I did you can job. see, dude. Dude, hands down, this guy can act. I mean, he can act. And and you you when you're watching the trailer or the other trailers and the last trailer, you're thinking, oh my god, he's gonna steal the movie. He's the main star, but he but he steals the movie, but he's not the main star. He's not the main focus of this movie. And and the way the way they killed him is not your typical movie, and it's not typical Hollywood because. Okay, yeah. you want your star to last to the end. Yeah. No, no, dude. They just, they smashed them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So, so spoiler. <laughs> yes, that's all good. We'll, we'll break it down. Like I said, you know, for the people that are watching this and you, you haven't watched it, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of spoiler alerts. So uh, yeah. make sure you go watch it. And I think even if we give spoilers, I think they're still going to enjoy the movie. And with. Oh, yes. But we're gonna tell them there. There's a lot gonna be a lot of parts that make um, a lot of sense. So going back to a little bit to, uh, to what you said, like it shows different parts mm -hmm. of LA. It shows uh, a lot of parts of LA too. You know that I haven't seen that they've shown in movies like the Alameda. Uh, uh, is it a corridor? Do you, would you call it a corridor? Where yes, it's it's a whole. It's a street of. Uh, it's it goes from all the way from. Uh, Watts down all the way to yes. downtown Little Tokyo, and most of it they sell used parts, car parts, right? Yes, Tint windows. by the train tracks, by the yes. train tracks in La, in La Boom. Yes, <laughs> oh, nah. yes, dude. I used to, dude. That, I remember going back in the days. That was like the biggest swap me Saturdays and Sunday, and you're trying to find parking, and and each block had a section that you can go through and navigate. The food was delicious. Oh. I mean, it was just. Pack, oh yeah, the swap meet. Yeah, I forgot. I, I forgot about that swap meet. The Vernon swap meet for a second. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Oh man. Yes, yes, yes. And it was a swap meet. It was a you can fix your car while you're eating or shopping and tinting your windows. You know, you had everything in that block. Yeah, hey, you're being too kind to that, so you can even get your Mika and shit, your fake ID to go party. Don't, <laughs> don't hide the secrets. <laughs> I want people to know what what that 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 Alameda Street were. They uh, they had their business where they had their, their business yes. where on the first scene creeper, um, yeah. no Dan, Danny Soto comes in first right comes in yes and comes in yeah and, and uh, he finds his niece you know um, they're knocked out but they open the the um, the business so for one thing that that that, that uh, you know social media did it made us think that Dan uh, not Danny um, shy. He, uh -huh. he was a gangster. He was a gangster, and, and he's he's not a gangster. He's a killer. Yes. Yes, and that's where I love it because um, I, I love it because it's in, 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 in that environment, you, you can be a certain person and not be attached to it. You just, you just play a part in that organization. You know what I mean? And that Shell of Above did a perfect part of playing that person part in that. Meaning that he fell in love with that culture, and that's yeah. what you do. I mean, surely God. Um, I remember so many times where uh, uh, my friend got crazy, and 
we go to bat, you know, like, like I ride a die, you know, I re-ride, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. so I, I love that. And, and he expresses so much how much he adores um, his partner of doing, of protecting them. He knows his role. And that's what I love. And a, a lot of, and, and that's, that's the culture, you know, your role in that, in that organization, in that environment that you live, you, you find out quickly, your role is this, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm going to be at. And this is what I'm going to move forward. And I make peace with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love it because you didn't want to play against him because look, he was talking about keto diet. He was talking that's about it. meditating, yeah. you know, he was talking about all of this. I mean, who, which Latino, I mean, yeah, there is Latinos talking about it, like yeah. me, kiddo diet and all that stuff. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm older and I'm, I'm out of the hood, but not pe people like that. It's like, you know, he's not, he's not playing a, a, a Mexican. He's playing himself. He's playing a, a white guy living in that neighborhood. You and, know? and another thing too, to the people that don't live in LA, I mean, it's going to, it was going to make us sound kind of, kind of, kind of a softier in LA, but all those diets that, that taking care of your health, that's, that's like, so LA now too, you know, what I mean? yes. like, like the, 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 uh, the part of Silver Lake, you know, uh, uh, yes. Echo Park. And I won't say not only, I won't say only that area, but it's like everybody, I mean, it's everybody cause a month ago two or a couple of months ago, everybody was on the keto diet or something. Yes. I don't know if it's still going <laughs> So it's something that it's it's it, that movie talks about a lot of different types of stuff, not only in the Mexican Latino culture, but also the uh -huh. LA culture. You know, um, yes. So yes, and go ahead. Yeah, no, go go for it. And it talks about the organization, how it's run, and a lot of movies don't do that. And they only this movie only tips it. it it's just showing you the tip of it. Yeah, <laughs> as you could say. It shows you the tip. It doesn't show you the 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 full depth on it. And they and you know the the only thing that got close to that it was American Me. And you know how yeah. crazy that movie got and how many people died on that movie. Yeah. You know, uh, in real life. So no one's gonna ever go deep as what they did, but they're always gonna show a tip of it of whatever they can show, and that's that's what they did. They showed the tip of it of 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 it. They they. They they s put some Hollywood stuff in there so they can so they won't show the full how it's truly run, but they show the tip of it and that's what I like. It, it showed an a side of LA that people keep forgetting that's always gonna be there. Yeah. So also also too, I, I like I want to mention you know um, the, the the first scene where they intro introduce the characters of of, of uh, Danny Soto and Shy Creeper mm -hmm. and uh, man I forgot uh, Danny Soto's uh, uh, wife no his name what was his name on the movie Danny Soto's uh, uh, fuck I forgot yeah, brain fart <laughs> I but, know we watch it two times <laughs> so yeah yeah no so uh, they um but they, that on the first scene where uh, they bring in the gangster from uh what supposedly the neighborhood is called Lomas. That's that's yes, that's, that's the, the part. real gang. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. See, and I I like the way they introduce the characters, and that's the part where uh, uh, you hear Creeper shy, and, and they show this in the preview. They're like, "You heard me? You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> you you heard me?" Yes. <laughs> but Dude. you can you can see in that in that in that scene, you know, was where. Right away, right off the bat, I, I, I bat, and I, I won't say like there was shooting, crazy shooting, but it was it was the mm -hmm. first scene where they introduced their characters, where it just catches your attention right away, and you're like, oh shit, yes. this is gonna be a good movie. Yes, 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 and the, and the director did an awesome job because okay, he started off nice and slow, and then he brought in these two characters. One he brought in one, and then he brought in the lead the lead man into it, and that's the that's creeper um shall live above and then they brought him in and um and then you 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 mentioned that the guy came in the the the, the gangster for loma because he had to replace another guy because the other guy got killed yeah <laughs> um yeah so and they were just breaking down of how it works and that's what i like the movie the most because it told you right off the bat this is who these guys are we don't have to go deep on what they what they did or what, how they work, they'll tell you off the bat, this is how it works, and you got into the movie of them 
being friendship and characters, you fell in love of their partnership together. You can sense the 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 the, the love with each other, you yeah. know, and that's what I I want to take away from it. It's the it's that it's that embracement of they're two different people, two different values. You know, one was super religious and the other one wasn't. You know what yeah. I mean? But you can see that they had so much respect for each other, yeah. so much love to each other that I'm like, why can't we do that in real life? I'm like, I'm like, this is awesome. You know, you, you know, one, you know, talks about God and the other one talks about meditation that goes, that's yeah. the devil's work. <laughs> yeah, I remember that part. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'll go for it. Sorry. So, yeah, that's what I love the most is that it's that bonding to relationship that they have, that that Kamari, that that I ride and die for each other, even if we don't agree with the same religion or same topics or same point, something. But we have a job to do. We love each other. You take care of me. I take care of you. You know, I know my role in this. You know your role in this. Let's just move forward and let's get down. You know what I mean? And and I like that a lot. I love that a lot. The that boundary. And and you and and one point is it's sad that he had to die so early so in this movie. Not early in the middle of it. And and you go, Oh my God. And then, you know, it goes on from there. On. Yeah. For the for the people here in LA and I'm pretty sure a lot of, a lot of people are um familiar with the with the term or the name the tax collector so i, I want to make sure i know I, i let let the people know what it is for the people that don't know uh i, I was it was funny because uh when i watched it the first time i went to the store got me some some drinks got me some popcorn <laughs> and and the, and the, the guy at the, the, the liquor store he's like man how's everything and i was like good man i'm ready you know i'm ready to just uh go go home drink a beer and then i'm gonna go see the, the tax collector and he's all like is he open today and i was like what <laughs> I was like, no, the movie. He's like, oh shit. He's like, I better pay mine. So the tax yes. collector term is the person you know that I guess uh, in a way gives protection to 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 the people in the community, and, and and at the end of the month comes around and picks up the money that you know he they got to pay him for the protection. So it's um, yes, and plus he does other type of stuff. Now I'm not glorifying it. You know, uh, I don't want the government coming over here knocking at our doors and thinking we, we know these tax collectors. <laughs> you know, because I'll, I'll turn in Ernie. I'll be like, yeah, I give them, you know. <laughs> I live in Vegas. So I, 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 I give whatever. Like, they, they PayPal me for my OnlyFans page, which doesn't make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Wick, shout out to Brad Lazy man, uh, tuning in right now, to, uh, listening and watching the show from from. Uh, uh, what's up? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, but that's see, that's my point of view. See, that's 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 how I took this movie. It's because I grew up in a different point of view and I saw certain things, and that's my point of view. And uh, and and I'm not saying that what I'm saying is it, it could be different from another person's point of view because of the way they grew up too. You know, and um, some people might not like this movie because it talks about in about this light. Yeah. But in the end of the movie, you can see that he really doesn't want to do this anymore. Yeah. He has a hard time dealing with this. That you can see his true nature come out and go, I don't want to do this anymore. This is not yeah. the life that I wanted. You know, it, it was the life that it was given to me or I was brought into it and I was good at it. You know, mm, yeah. so, it, so it, go ahead. Yeah, it, it does, yeah, it does. So l let's talk about this life that, that you were mentioning right now, you know, because mm -hmm. it was something that he grew into it and taking it back, you know, once again, after the introduction of the both characters, then they start showing what a tax collector does, you know, and what they yes. do. And I like the fact, like you mentioned earlier, they start showing them collecting money from different neighborhoods, you know, barrios. In L.A., but also, too, I saw a side, uh, 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 another part of them, uh, which was not only they collected the money, but in, in a way they cared for the, the, the people. And at the same time, they want, uh, Danny Soto wanted to kind of conserve the peace, the balance, you know, uh, of yes. not really fucking up the, the neighborhoods. Yes, and that, and and that yeah, I saw that too. He like uh, like the the Bloods. 
called him the, the the main guy called him the the light of this dark tunnel. He's he's a candlelight, and he is. He's the light. He's he's a peacemaker. You know, it's it, you can name this the peacemaker because he's the peacemaker. He wants to he he wants you. He has a job to do, and he's gonna do it the best he can. You know, but at the same time, he wants to be no harm to each no harm to anybody. You know, but he does harm. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's that's basically. Uh, He's he's contradicting himself, but he has to because that's his job, um, and that's why he has a conflict in the end um, with himself and with his family. Um, but he does. He wants to keep peace with 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 the black community and the Latin community. He wants to keep humble with everybody to pay their dues. Hey, th- these are dues for your dues. You're getting protected, and these are, and, and it's crazy because you think okay. Gangsters are not scared anybody. No, they are. You know, yeah. at some level, there's a higher up on that. Yeah, thing, yeah. You know, you know, and they're more worried about that guy. And these, are, and the crazy part is, only two guys that are going around. You know, and and That's people are like crazy. These, yeah, there's two guys that just going around that go around and collect money. Where anytime of these walking in this house, they can get jumped get done and that's it but yeah. there's a rules there's culture there's rules that they they abide by and they when they break the rules everything collapse and they understand that really well you know and yeah. and that's where i took away too that there's rules there's guides there's things that if you wave off a little bit certain things gonna happen and that's when conejo pops in you yeah. know what i mean that one of the rules was broken and what from the past, and that's from his family, and this comes biting in his ass, you well, know. Let's talk about that. So uh, probably I missed that part. So you, you said that they they broke <laughs> broke a rule in the past, or or like his family. Yes. So I, I missed so that. so uh, so remember when that when uh, that's why I had to watch it again. So remember Conejo came in that scene when Conejo came in with the other guy that you uh, he's a U actually he's a UFC fighter. He's a really fa- he's oh, a, shit. He's the, a the, UFC the, fighter. The guy yes. with the long hair. Yes. Yes, okay, okay. he's a Latino. He's from he's from oh, East LA. So oh, shit. Yeah, okay. he's a USC fighter. Yes, yeah, he has, he has a contract. So his uncle killed his dad, but never killed him, and that's why Conejo goes. You you always have to finish the job. When you don't finish the job, it keeps it comes biting in your ass, and that's where the sun comes in. Oh, he bites him in the ass. So he so. Uh, you know? So the uncle, which is uh, uh, George Lopez, big George shout out Lopez. to him. Uh, so he killed uh, Cornejo's dad, but left the son. No, no, it's the other guy, the UFC fighter's dad. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, see, I, I missed that. I missed that part. There was a yeah. lot, a lot of parts, you know that. And yes. also, too, if you guys, that, you know, uh, saw the, the 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 movie, and and there's something we're forgetting, leave the comments below, man. Let us know because I'm I'm sure I'm gonna watch this movie again. Um, so <laughs> one, one part, one part, uh, we'll, we'll come back right now to, to the Conejo part uh-huh. because this guy played a, a badass role. Um, oh my God. The, the dad, which it, the, the, uh, Danny Soto's dad is the main drug lord, the guy that call, calls the shots from, 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 from jail. I feel like, yes. like the introduction when it came to, to him was pretty weak, you know? I mean, I mean, I, I don't think... If, for the people tuning in right now, don't think I'm gonna start bashing the movie. I'm not, you know, but I did. I did mention <laughs> that I am. I am gonna be mentioning glitches and, and parts that that I think they messed up. And mm-hmm. uh, but I think it was pretty weak, you know. Uh, or what do you think the, the way that he got introduced into the movie? I think it, from my point of view, I think I can see why it's weak, but I think that they did it right because I yeah. think this is gonna be a part two movie. This is gonna be add on to it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 you want his dad, Wizard, to be more of a dark secret boss yeah. guy, you know, and the, and then you don't know who he is until the end. Even when he gets that phone call and he starts laughing and hangs up on them, I'm like, yeah. Damn, that's, and then you realize who he was. I'm like, that's a oh, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's, man. that's a yes. So I think I can see your point of view, but I do see why they didn't mention him as much because you really you you want to keep him as a dark as person as possible and you want him to oh, okay put this figure as taller than life guy that he's controlling 
everything that's going to happen in East yeah. LA. And if you understand, um, one book I recommend, it's The Black Hand. Um, okay. If you read that book, you understand how many levels they are. And his dad is not even in the top levels of that type of organization. He's he's just there. He's a tax collector of that type of organization. Yeah, he's yeah. the um, HR person, <laughs> yeah, as you can say. Uh, you know, uh, if you're breaking down this corporation, he's the HR person. He's the one who has to con- make sure that everything's correct. Yeah. You pay your dues, so on and so forth. Um, and 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 it's scary. And it's scary because he understands the mindset of a person. Because basically, he had to train his son to take his place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he had to do certain things to push him to the next level of his development to to take over him. Because his dad, his wizard didn't feel he was right until this certain thing happened. You know? You know? So um, so I felt it, it was put together right. And it was yeah. and for that short time that we we're watching it, you get to write. You get to feel this roller coaster that just had a huge impact in this guy in this moment that changed everything how he's gonna look at life, you know? Yeah. So, um, and then, I mean, to be honest, it, it, you know, we talked about you know about, about this earlier too. Um, this movie, this movie, I feel like they ran out of time. Like you know, they they were just trying to like like finish it. Uh, but for sure, man, there, 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 there's got to be not only one sequel or pre sequel <laughs> from this, but there's got to be a couple of them because uh, um, we got to we got to know about like the story about Conejo, the dad, uh, oh, and also yes. I don't know if you noticed the dad. He's uh, the the guy that played. Uh, he comes out on um, that bi- biker um, um, TV show. Um, Hell, not um, uh, Arc. Uh, um, that that uh, it's a with, spinoff one too. Yeah, um, with uh, Archangels. Um, no. Uh, yes, I. It's uh, coming to the sun. I kind of I kind of have the song. The song. <laughs> Uh, Sons of Anarchy. Arcanist. Uh, S- yes, of Ar- yes. So he's the he's the guy that bangs uh oh um um Maggie or or not Maggie uh the, the, the lady I I I picture I the girl from uh the lady from um shit brain fart again from <laughs> married with children I I I see her and I st- to me she's still Peggy. Is it Peggy? Yes, yeah, it's always gonna be Peggy to us. Yeah, but Peggy like was looking looking kind of kind of healthy there in that Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> yeah, but yes, uh, he's he's the guy that that uh, the Sancho, you know, and but yes. now is the dad of Danny Soto. Yeah, but taking it taking it back, yeah. So yeah, most def, I I'm sure they're gonna have uh, a sequel, pre sequels, because um, we got to know the story of the dad. We got to know the story of, of Creeper. You know, we got to know the story. Um, there's so many characters. I mean, the story of of, of Con- Con- Conejo, you know, the, the the before before the movie. So I w- I would like to know the pre sequel of, of Conejo because I know you're gonna agree with me, man. Conejo, man, he he did a great job, man. Oh my God, he did an excellent job, and the way, dude, he played the part like he. Didn't- basically was in it already you know what i mean yeah he, the way he was talking about it the way he he embellished that you know absorbed that character i mean he he you felt like when he was talking you go and you're watching you're like uh, am i in that room should i be scared right now yeah. <laughs> you know it's like oh damn dude it's it's crazy how um it it's it just again there's people in there that just did an awesome job and that they, they, they did their homework or they lived in that environment. So they picked the bag on it and they did it beyond uh, a good way of, of, pre- pre- of, of pretending those type of characters. Yeah. And I recently watched an interview of, uh, of Conejo too, that um, I didn't know. Well, I, I found out through through certain interviews that he was gone. You know, he was he was gone, and also too, I think he was in in jail for a while. Um, I'm not sure 100, but I, I think I think so. But um, 
he played the, the role he played uh, as narco, you know, narco satanico, you know, because he looked he looked evil. And and this oh my movie, god, I don't know if he maybe directed this uh, part of this movie because they show rituals of, of yes. our narco satanico. And for the people that are saying what is narco satanico, well, the narcos they're like the cartel from Mexico, but some some or most of these cartels, from what I heard, they do rituals where they kill. Animals, people, and yes, yes. So, so I that part, I'm happy that they did their homework on that part, uh, and, and 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 they did the full version of what that part of what that religion is. Yeah, because they're sometimes they do it really light um, religion, um, and some of the like a uh, couple times they showed it on regular TV because you can't show that yeah. stuff too, but. It, but if you know that, if you know some of it of that his of that religion, that's what they do, uh, and it's crazy because it's some 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 yeah. people still don't understand that type of religion or they don't get the concept. They just think it's just they cut chickens or they cut animals or no, goats or anything steep. like that. Yeah. There is sacrifice. There is a um, uh, uh, human being sacrifice in that part, and and there's people that are willing to do that. You know. So it, it is a little, you know, I like that. I yeah. Hopefully they don't get a backlash on that. I, I mean, I don't like that. I just, I, it, they, just showed, that they showed I, that I part like of that it. They showed that type of re, that deep side religion that these guys do believe in this type of that. Yeah. So if you guys, if you guys uh, are going to watch this movie, uh, make sure you, there's no kids around because it gets pretty gross. <laughs> yes. And also, too, I want to say something. I'm not saying uh, they're. Conejo, you know, uh, but went through this. I'm just saying that he knows, just like any Latino, what goes on, you know, down down there, and maybe you know he yes. heard stories, and that's where, um, where you know, maybe he, he gave ideas, you know, of what he heard or seen down down there. Yes, because Mexico right yes. now is pretty violent. So, yes, yes, yeah, that 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 place is pretty scary because I, I there's some stories and and um, so it it. it it you know but yeah going back to the movie let's 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 uh, the movie again um to me hit all points there's like again some glitches on certain parts uh they rushed it to the end um where it could have been more of a story between the the blood and him and how they are really they're related with each other or how they become how they become really tight friends yeah. i like that part i want i wanted more depth on that you yeah. know you know, and I hopefully in part two, if they ever make it or they do, they they dive on that part and talking about his history. Like you mentioned, there's a history about him in the back, his dad with his uncle, you know, yeah. um, well, how is he moving forward? Because they left it in the cliffhanger because they left it with his finding out that wizard is his dad and yeah. saying that I'm sorry. And then he looks at his kids at, at his uh, what's his name's kids pictures so I don't know yeah. if he's gonna go after the kids too to 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 say what's up but you know yeah uh, yeah you, when you mentioned that you, you got me thinking but uh let's let's bring the story up to to where we're mm -hmm. at because you know what I mean like maybe some people that are still here watching the spoilers they you know they want to know what's <laughs> going on so so uh after they introduced a uh, uh, creeper and and uh, um mm -hmm. Danny Soto's character they they show they introduce their character they show how much fear they put into people. They show uh, what they do. They yes. pick up uh, money. They collect money. They go to different cities around L.A. And um, there's one part where where um, the first part, I guess, the the the, the gangster from Lomas, he, he he gets checked and and they they let him know we are gonna be picking up money from you. And then later yes. on, they go into into another hood, and uh, they find they find a, a, a gangster, a, a blood, right, that is being beat mm -hmm. up by other gangsters, and and yes. this whole thing is going on because uh, homie the blood was smashing the the old ladies of one of the gangsters, so they're like, "What the fuck yes. are you doing? Uh, um, uh -huh. We're not going through this." So this is the part where they show the side of Danny Soto that you know what I mean. He wants it's he he before you know any any other stuff he wants he doesn't want tension he doesn't want yes or he wants everything everything to go smooth and doesn't want trouble within um 
gangs and and especially you know yes. blood bloods and 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 and, and cholos uh, so yes. after that he goes and drops off the 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 blood gangster into the uh -huh. neighborhood watts and uh -huh, yes and uh, what happens there next uh, uh because that's a really really key part of the movie to me i think yes and it is a key part because then you find out because it so when you give a little background when you drive in those the type of neighborhoods you, you always being watched so there's no there's you can't just drive even cops know this that they're always being watched there's always some a lookout person looking out for you so when they drop this guy off and they ex also explains what have happened He almost gets a pass because of the history that they has with the main guy. So the history with the main guy tie them really good together. And basically, they, what they want is to squash it there and just to move forward with the business that they have relationship. You know, and that, that business, they don't go in depth on what type of business that they go on. But there is a relationship business with, with them. You know, it might be the drug, might buy the money, might be all oh, this. Like, he takes care of his people and he runs it this way. And he's the one charge of this people and he runs it this way. So that relationship is almost like a business transaction. I would put it like, um, how, like I put it like, um, okay. I don't know. It, I'm trying to think of, of two big corporations that work together really well. There's none. <laughs> <laughs> but but there there's, there's really none, none. But, but there's uh see there's friends there there's friends and, and then there's uh, allies. So maybe they yes. they don't work together, but they 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 can they can you know put something together. But also yes. also to it shows the part where like uh, uh they they care and besides the uh, the neighborhood you know they don't want yes. blood uh out there you know. When it comes to like now people regular reg regular yes. people so uh it shows another part too of of uh, um that n n they are not showing in the news right now that they, they want to show that you know uh, hispanics and blacks you know o only beef only beef but they don't know also too that there's a, a lot of friendship you know there and there's been oh. for a long 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 time yeah that that see that that friendship goes so deep i mean There's glimpse of it, um, uh, of it through music too, through hip hop music, um, a lot, it, it, a lot on hip hop music too. So th th that relationship goes way deep because it, it, because we, it, it's when you, how would I, how would I put it nicely? Um, when you grow up in the neighborhood, you have no other choice of who's you, who's your gonna friends gonna be. It's the people around you who your friends are gonna be. Yeah, you know. And, and and that's who you grew up. And sometimes some Latinos move in some of these type of neighborhoods and and it goes on from there, you know, and they invite each other's over for food and, and yeah. they play along with each other and that's how you know each other really well. Um and, and that's the sad part that the that the media or nothing it talks about that relationship, that unity that that they have. You know, because yeah. there is a united. There, there's a there's a come Unity, together yeah. there movement. You know that a lot of people and a lot of media don't talk about it. And I like this movie because it talks about that united that they have. You know, yeah. this movie. If you want to take anything good out of it, it's the united of different types of culture coming together. You know yeah. what I mean? You 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 get the sense that they're. They're, they're, to, they're together. They're, they're, together. they're together. And also, too, you know, they showed that, you know, with with the Hispanic and and um, <clears throat> excuse me, and the, the, the uh, black community, because there's also a part where uh, where they go collect from from another gangster, the one from Lomas. And yes. I, they have a uh, correct me if I'm wrong, man. Uh, uh, it's it, is a Salvador flag. I might might be wrong. Yes. And I, and I apologize if I am. Yes. Because it was a quick, you know, shot. But that's the part. Yeah. Another thing that. Um, a lot of people they think that you know Mexicans and, and so, you know South Americans or Central Americans we don't get along. You know there there is like certain bullshit tension that it's it was built up. I don't know when, but there's a yes. lot of people out there that we don't we don't we don't believe in that bullshit. You know a lot of people yes. you know when I'm out there they they think I'm Central uh, um, Central American Salvadorian. You know and and and, and some. They get surprised, you know. I don't, I don't react because there's a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> I, I was watching this interview, 
And, and um, I think it was in No Jumper, and, and they were interviewing uh, this chick, uh, Selena Powell, I think. And uh -huh. they asked her, like, <clears throat> like, uh, are you, you know, people think you're you're white. Uh, are you Mexican? And she jumps. She's like, oh, hell no. And and, and um, Adam asked her, like, well, what's wrong with me Mexican? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. and, and the same thing when, when people ask me, you know, are you Salvadorian? Are, are you Central American? You know, I don't I don't react like like that because one, it's pretty offensive Two, yes. you know what I mean? I, 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 I know, especially uh, I lived in Mexico, like near Mexico City. So I learned how to mm -hmm. dance salsa, cumbia, merengue, de vueltita, and everything. So when I was going to the yes. clubs, people were, were thinking, you know, like, oh, you know, oh, you're not Mexican, you know, because we don't, you guys don't. This was back in the the mid '90s, you know. Now everybody's okay. more like involved. <laughs> but uh, but but when people ask me, I'm like, I'm like, no. But I know a lot of people, and and some people think I'm lying, but I mm -hmm. understand, you know what I mean. But um, I mean, it's it's a beauty, man. It's a beauty, and I'm I'm glad we're breaking stereotypes or we're we're letting people know that we're not going to be fed that bullshit that we hate each other because oh it's, yeah it's not that's, true. That, that's so yeah that is so bullshit i mean it's okay so it, it is so bullshit because i'm looking back of how the areas that i grew up there was no hate between me and other people and there was just just playing around and having a good time and meeting different different people And and it is it is it's, it's all pumped up through the media or through this. Yeah. I mean, and let and if you want to go deep, and I think you brought it up when we were talking about when these kids smacked the Lotero Lotero man. Yeah. And they got checked by their own people. You know, they got checked by by their own their 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 their, their clica, their gang, and, and and saying we don't have that. Because it, it isn't that because it's, yeah. you you know, and, and all the media started blowing up and what the hell, this and that. But they got checked. They, they got yeah. they got taught a lesson that you don't do that. And we don't believe in that bullshit. And it is it is true because you can, you know, if you know and you live there, you know that it, it, it's not like that. You know, yeah. they, you know, they you do. And I mean, you, you do have like uh, on both sides, you know what I mean? We always have. You just like the colors, you know, black, there's white, there's light, you know, there's mm -hmm. darkness. There, there, we got knuckle, knuckle hits, you know what I mean, on, on both of our yes. sides. And that and that part, you know, if, if 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 we allow the media to, you know, keep pushing that because, um, to be honest, there's, there's nothing to be mad at each other about. But I understand, you know, ignorance. Uh, uh, when I was younger, you know, um, I didn't have – now – I have all kinds of, of friends when it comes to cultures, yes. you know, backgrounds and everything. And, and, and the reason why I didn't have that before is because I used to think, well, you know, well, maybe they don't want to hang out with me. Well, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, they don't know what's up, you know, because, you know, they don't listen to this music, you know, they don't want to hear that. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it, you know, and later on, you know, I, came to find out that it was just only in my, in my head, you know, I mean, the atmosphere yes. you live, you know, and, and, and sometimes to some people, you know, the hood is, you know, everything we think there is. And then until like you start going out, like for example, you start moving out different places. You're like, well, wait a minute, you know, there's, there's a world out there, you know, like, I yes. mean, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, and that's how I felt when I was moving around it, there, there's a, there's truly a world out there out of, cause you, you're, You you live in this bubble and in, in in these type of neighborhoods and you're like okay this is this is normal but when you get out of it you're like okay this is not normal <laughs> so, yeah know? so true very yeah. true man so it's very very true yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, uh yeah there's a lot of stuff that you think it's normal man there's a lot of stuff that you think it's normal uh and and also too it's uh the way you know you're supposed to talk sometimes, you know, you think if you start talking a, a certain way that it's, it's, it's like, well, well they're going to say this, well, they're going to say, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm that. And, 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 you know, they're going to say I, that I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm more cooler than them. And, you know, so <laughs> just got to break, break stereotypes. Um, let's, let's hop back again, you know, into, yeah. into, into, to the story. Um, so mm -hmm. we, uh, so yeah, so, There's that part going back to uh, like I was saying, so where they go uh, collect now taxes from this other gangster in in uh, Malomas, and uh -huh. and 
and they're about to kill him. You know, they they get the money, and they ask him. You know, the, uh, Danny Soto and a Creeper ask him like, "Where? Why did you do this?" And it ends up that his daughter had leukemia. And, yes. And they 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 show that that part uh, of of Danny Soto having um uh, being having compassion, which yeah. you think it's a weakness? <laughs> no, no, I I don't think I, I don't think to. I don't think it's a weakness for me. I think it's a compassion. And that's when you can see that his character of what toughness is starts almost, it starts breaking down. You know what I mean? Starts realizing, is this what I really want to do to people? You know what I mean? Is this what I want to be? Um, and consider versus creeper again, he's doing a job. That's yeah. his job. And that's, that's what he needs to do. And versus him, he's because he has a family now. Families do change you. And that's yeah. where uh, families do change you. And that's where his dad realized, the wizard realized that. Dad changed you for that. And 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 some might call it weakness, some might call it strength, you know, but mostly it's more strength. I believe it's more strength. But that's what happens. That's you get to see that character going, okay, you know what? I kind of understand. I'll cover this guy. Don't let this happen again. You know, let's just move on. I'm going to get hate by my wife, but hey, I did the right thing consciously. Where Creeper goes, you let the guy go out, homie. He was a killer. He's this. Yeah. That's his problem. That's his fault. Let's just take care of him, you know? And and that's the part where you realize, okay, this guy does have a heart. Yeah. <laughs> See, because uh, <clears throat> when he started, like, showing compassion – and 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 you know for for the other gangs uh, to me i thought i was like okay this is the way he's this guy's gonna get killed you know yes. so i guess they kind of used that to kind of like make you think it was gonna go this way but it went yeah. the other way um before I, I jumped into we started going more into the action of what happens with danny soto and and the shootings uh -huh. and everything in creeper what what's so far up to this point What's your, your favorite part of the movie that's been going on or, or their line that you can say, damn, so, this, oh, this part got me. So, so the, the, my favorite part, and there's a couple parts. Um, so my fair one is, again, going back to, right, they're riding in the car and they talk about their different points of view. And you can see how truly different they are to each other. Um, but they love each other at the same time, you know? Yeah. So I love that part. The other part is um, it, it's the end, too. I mean, when he looks at the camera. And, yeah. and that's, that's impacting to me because that's when you see, okay, what's his next move? And, and you can see him like, I don't, like, you can see him break, like, like, like I'm done. I don't want to do this. We're, we have, you know, that, that's another part that I love the most. Um, What's what's another one? Um, oh, the quinceanera. Yeah. Where Creeper and him are talking, and Creeper realizes it. He, you get to know Creeper more, and you go, then you get to find out that you get to find out that you already know he found his purpose. You yeah. know what I mean? And he and he, I think he talked about it on the on the ride, and and there he follows the rules of a samurai. You know what I mean? Uh, on the samurai, if you ever read or understand samurais, is that they meditate in the morning about death. They accept oh, wow. death. They love death. Death is part of their life. And that's why I'm going to dress the best I can. So if I die, I die the best way I can yeah. as a samurai. You know? And I think that goes back to Latinos because I, there's a, I watched, um, who's that famous director that made these, uh, Del Toro, I think, uh, the, the made, uh, uh, Del Toro. I forgot his name. Uh, yeah, I think so. It was it the, the Kill Bill um, guy, uh, Torrentino? Yeah, the the uh, yes, him. No, no, the Mexican guy. I, uh, Del, Del Toro. I forgot his. Name. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. he's he made a speech couple a couple. I posted on Facebook that he goes, "Why are you? Why do you believe? Why is some movies so dark and so good? But every time we talk to you, he you're so happy." And he goes, "Cause I'm Mexican." <laughs> you know, that's part of that's part of our culture. Yeah. Is, is that you know the the famous movie that came out, El, El Coco, you know Coco. You know we honor the dead. Dead is yeah. 
it's in our he put our it blood. down he goes we're in a train track you know where the exit's gonna be you know death that's that's the exit that's that's it we accept it we don't that's it it's just in the middle part how we enjoy it how we get along with each other how we live life together and by accepting death or by accepting who you are and what you are in this place you'll be you'll live the fullest that you can and that's what creeper realized in the quinceanera is that hey if it comes it comes this is yeah i'm i'm okay with it you know what i mean this is my purpose this is what i was born to do this is what my environment told me that i was good at you yeah. know and 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 that's the beauty <clears throat> of that part where they agree with each other you know yeah and i agree we're like the only culture that we celebrate and and, and uh, party to 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 the, to the death. We have our own like Dia de los Muertos, and uh, you yes. know what? You you just uh, uh, you surprised me there again because you, you saw something that I didn't see, and up to going back to what you were talking about, Creeper. I think right there they showed a, a, another transition of Creeper, where like he was more like he started thinking more about life, um, and also too I noticed uh, uh, about that scene. So was Creeper dating uh, uh, Danny Soto's uh, sister? Because that that was the sister, no, right? He the girl that there's a part that says, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it uh, on once I'm, once I edit it. He's all like, "Oh yeah, yeah. you remember that time you gave me three STDs?" <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was fucked up. Line. I mean, that was the best line. It got me off guard. But no, they basically they were dating. They were messing around back in the days. You know what I mean? So th that's why um, that's why that that thing came up. So, yeah. So, because he was trying to get with that girl that he brought. Yeah. That security girl. Yeah. So, so he was just trying to bring. Oh, that was, was a security girl. Oh, girl. yeah, yeah. Because there's a part. Yeah. That, that, that uh, you see throughout the movie. And that is, that is so, yeah. so Latino, so Mexican where you start showing. Well, back in our days, uh, you'll show the, the mom <laughs> yeah. pictures. You know what I mean? Yes. The ones we used to collect yes. with this. I mean, you know, they're showing on the phone, you know. It's like, yeah, this is yeah. the, this is the, uh, um. <laughs> The security guards like she's got some big ass titties and stuff, you know. <laughs> but uh, yes, do you think? Do you think also to Creeper was uh, feeling that he was getting close to 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 what was about to happen to him? Get captured or or get tortured or get close get to, to death? Yeah, to death. Yes, I, I think I think when you're in that environment, I think every day could be your last day. That's why he accepted it. That's why I think. He kind of felt uh, after talking to Conejo or seeing that environment that it was going to be war and war comes with debt. He's not stupid, you know, and he, he could be one of them that could die, you know. So and I think he accepted and that's why they had a serious talk to about about what how he believes and what he does, you know. So so I think, yes, you're right. He did kind of get the sense that my clock was gonna is, is you know there, time yeah. out yeah 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 let me bring it back to the introduction of, of uh conejo mm -hmm. and um well conejo conejo the way they introduced him was pretty crazy you know what i mean and they went to collect money from another another um hood another gang um and conejo just came out of, out of nowhere letting them know like look dude because they were shocked. They were like, who are you? I don't know who you are, but, you know, uh -huh. Danny Soto and Creeper, you know, they were like, we don't know who you are, but you're, you're you know, you're getting involved where you're not supposed to. And he, uh, yes. right there and then, was like, nah, dude, you, I am the new, you know, the new you, you know, you're the old me. Yes. That part, the way he was introduced, it was, wow. No, that, uh, let's go back. Let's, let's let's dive into that. Because yeah. that, uh, that's another part that just, the conversation between them two and the, that switching <clears throat> language had a huge impact on how you felt about that conversation and the way they were talking about it. Because the way when certain words you say in Spanish it hits you deeper than yeah. if you would said it in English. Correct, so yeah. the conversation that they had between each other with the different languages was so amazing, so impacting. You're like, oh, my God. You know, the code and, and like, basically, I'm going to show respect, but that respect comes with a price. But you don't know who you're stepping with, but I think you know who I yeah. am. That's why I'm giving you respect. See, I, 
even if you say it in, Eng- in English, it doesn't have the same impact if you say it in Spanish. Yeah. You know what I mean? True, true. So, to but that oh my god, that right there was back and forth, sweet acting, unbelievable. Just the two, it it was awesome. I I think if you want to take any if any actor wants to take anything out of this. It's that scene. It's yeah. that scene between Conejo and him, the way and the director and the writer, how they wrote it. You did a huge impact on it. And if you don't, it sucks because if you don't understand Spanish and the, and you have subtitles, it doesn't do justice. It's like watching anime and they have subtitles. Uh, it doesn't do justice to actually what they're actually saying, yeah. you know? So, so that's what it is. And oh my God, I, again, that part, you get to know how crazy Conejo is, how violent that motherfucker is, how dirt he'll do. Yeah. And then, sorry. And then you'll know how, what's his name? Well, <clears> hey, <throat> if we're going to get down, let's get down. You know, yeah. let's, let's do this. You know, but but let's let's go through. And it's cool because they go, let's go through the, the, the right chambers. Let's talk to people, you know, and then let's go from there. Yeah. No, and also too another part, another thing that I wanted to mention about that scene, because some people were like saying, you know, like why the masks, you know, why why these people uh, are wearing uh, luchador masks. So I want to like point out real quick the, the wardrobe that that means something. These these guys, you know, are mercenary mercenaries. You know, most of the time yes. they're they're shooters. You know what I mean? They're they're people that are not supposed to even be free, but maybe for the yes. night. You know, the, 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 they, they got them out of jail and now they're like out there, you know, sniping or, or, or doing what killers do. So that's yeah. why, you know, they, they're not showing the face. Another thing, the, the, the shirt, the, 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 the Chalino shirt that Cornejo was, <laughs> was wearing. Uh, for the people that, that know what's up for the 90s and are here, you know, are from L.A. watching this, you guys know what those shirts meant. You know, those those were like like, you know, uh, um, n- shirts that narcos used to wear. You, you knew, you know what I mean, that you didn't fuck with these these gangsters. You know, uh, in the nineties, even even some cholos, you know, were were scared uh, 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 of these 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 paisas. You know, because the, they knew they they didn't fuck around. They 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 wouldn't pull yeah. out a gun. They'll fucking straight out fucking spray your ass. Yes, with grenades and everything. So it's crazy the stories that I heard from my brother and and from other people that what what went down, you know, um, and and it, it it is because uh, me and my brother grew up in a different uh, environment in different ways. He he accepted that that Mexican culture and all that stuff yeah, yeah. versus I, I did I didn't. You know, I, I I grew up you know more of the Compton side watts and all that good yeah, yeah. in that area. So I grew up with that type of that that neighborhood. Uh, but yeah, you're right. That shirt again. Everything that they put in this movie, I think they did their homework and they got it. They got it down. I mean, like again, they're just showing you the tip. That's all they're doing. <laughs> yeah, the tip, the tip. And, and and they they can't show you more than that, you know. And he, 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 and and that that. When he walked in, you can sense and Fuck. when he sat down and they took shots each, you know, like tequila shots, you know, because that that's what you do with, you know, you, you know, yeah. you might hate each other, but we're going to respect each other at this moment because we're having a conversation, you know. So that whole environment, again, good, good. Yeah. Down. I, I loved it. Let, I loved me, it. let me give a shout out to the chat. Big shout out to, to J.D. La Rosa. What's up, my boy? How you doing, man? Arlene Contreras uh, say, wow, well, primo, abrazos. Yeah. So, yeah, big shout out to them. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys so much. Um, so I hope I don't I don't forget to to mention everyone's part because I feel like our, our, our episode is kind of like the movie. Like, it's like not going to have enough time. But, uh, yes. <laughs> but the, the girl, uh, Conejo's girl, she played yes. an amazing part too, man. I got I to gotta give it to her. She was oh she was scary God. in in her own way. She's sexy. She's sexy in the movie, but she's fucking scary, you know. Oh my God! Yes, and you know people like you know girls like that. I I knew girls like oh, that. Oh shit! And in high school, I dated one. No, in junior high, I dated one like yeah. that. So so yeah. So there were dude. You grew up. I mean, she played that part down like yeah. she 
she was down to row and 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 I like the part where 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 what's the name says and that quinceanera he goes yeah you guys should get together and make some oh, demon yeah, babies yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me I'm, I'm just gonna put parts of of, of the, the the video trailer because you know I don't I don't want the stream to uh to be taken down later on when i edit it but yeah that part was funny <laughs> I, I, I was kind of getting confused there for a second because they have another female shooter too and they look yeah. kind of similar but it, the, the other one is she's a little bit more like morenita yes so i think he 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 applied he i think he had a couple of girls that were down riding to down to ride with him yeah you know what i mean it wasn't just one of them it was couple it was a couple of them that that got down um so it, it was it like uh What's name killed one of them when he was outside the house? Um, yeah, and then, yeah. So they were they're all they were he he rode with different types of girls. So yeah, yeah. There's girls out there that are ride or die. Oh you know? yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Well, a couple of years ago in the '90s too, man. You remember there used to be girls out there that used to go out and jack dudes, you know, uh, go to clubs yes! and fucking rob those motherfuckers. Yes! You know? Yeah, crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, and they did you it right. Gotta watch out. Yeah, they did it right, man. In the movie, because they, they, you know, in the movie, you're gonna think, oh, what are they gonna do? But nah, man, these, these, these are cold-hearted, you know, females. Yeah, yeah. Again, I, I, oh, yeah. That 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 those two girls, that that main girl played just ballsy, and then when she comes into and just does that bomb with nails i mean yeah. even got the bomb right it's so, that's how crazy it is and then it just that nail spreading everywhere you know it it it, it just it's crazy it yeah. really is um yep. but yeah again let's yeah let's let's jump into that part and, and introduce it uh so at the quinceanera you know um the uncle comes in you know um george lopez which is the uh, uncle of danny soto and before that, we we see a part where Danny Soto and Creeper ask him, "Who is this guy? Who's Conejo?" You know, like, you know, yes. and he's like, "Oh, he's just a, a, a whatever a bum." You know, for many year, for yeah. years ago, he left and he's back. But you can see fear in um um uh, George, Lopez George Lopez character, Lopez. yeah, the deal. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can sense that. Okay, this guy's a this guy's don't you don't fuck around with this guy, and and you can sense it. You can really do when he was talking about him and and having. Dude, that's crazy because I remember those that scene going into my friend's um, uh, 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 dad's business and doing a barbecue in that tire shop, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's familiar, but, huh? Yeah. But, but yeah, he, he was really, he was really, he, you can set, you can see in his fear when he was talking about, about Conejo and then he's trying to play it off, you know, that machismo, play it off and go, yeah, whatever, I, I'll yeah. deal with it, but we have to make some calls, you know? And, and and then you know and then that you go to the quinceanera and then he has to deal with it he doesn't really want to deal with it but he has to because yeah. that's part of, that's yeah. you know his his brother basically told him yeah you got to handle this you know yeah, so, that's that's the job you know what i mean he applied for his job he's, he can't just be tough sitting down at the, at the tire shop you know <laughs> yeah and, and and you think you're retired but you're not you're, you're nah, never retired <laughs> no and so no. so the next part that we see uh that's when we see uh the, the uncle is like don't worry me i'm gonna take care of this you know i'm gonna take care of this guy yes and danny starts to celebrate he goes up to creeper oh you know my uncle's gonna take care of it right now this guy's yes is done next thing you know you see homegirl yeah. one of the the, the, the killers uh, of conejos and he's like hey you know what where where you been shows the phone the uncle texting texting uh -huh. crazy and he goes meets up with the conejo and they show a part uh, of what happens with the cartels you know they give yes danny soto and creeper a box you know a little cooler with uh the uncle's head and hands that that was cold right there yes that was cold and you got to give credit to the director or writer where they didn't use that part to explode do you know what i mean like like oh my god you killed my uncle let's let's just shoot it out let's do this right now yeah and i like that part i like that part where he, he he you can realize that he's a he's a smart guy like if i do this right now there's no way that i'm gonna come out alive of, out of here you know oh, what i mean yeah. he analyzed he analyzed his situation where he was you know he's like all right, I'm pretty fucked if I try to do anything here. I'm sad and depressed. And the emotions that he had to go through that, you know, I don't know if if you don't see that in your daily base, yeah. I think you'll react differently. But he's seen it so many times in his 
character or, you know, his, what he's playing the character that he's almost um, immune to it, but it, it hits him because it's his uncle and he loved him. Um, but you, you sense that, okay, I can't do nothing here. I'm, I got, I just got creeper and this guy's yeah, surrounded, that- you know, and if I do anything, I'm pretty much done. done. And what about my family? What about my fa- You know, my sister, this, this and that. And, you know, I'm going to let a lot of people down if, if I do anything. So he's a smart cat for yeah. not doing anything because not, con- not letting his, his emotions mo- control him. Yeah. You know, and even Crippers, too. Mo- mo- he, he's like, he's like, I want to kill him. Yeah, he's <laughs> ready. Yeah. So there's another part that confused me, and, and that's where he meets up with the uh, with a couple of guys out of where out of their meeting at the tire shop. And. Yeah, uh, I I got confused. Who were they? Were they were they cops? Were they uh, gang lords? Um, that part I I don't know. I think they they so kind of missed a little bit. Yeah, go for it. So I so looking at it again, um, I think there are, I think there are other they're like him, but in another neighborhood. Do you understand oh, what I mean? Okay. So so because that actor. He actually is in a Netflix movie, Netflix show called The Umbrella Corporation. The Mexican guy, yeah, yeah, Academy. Yeah, he's he's the the assassin, but he has long hair in that show, and this way he doesn't. So I think they're him in a different area because you have to remember, LA is huge, <clears throat> you know, and yeah. and that one person can take care of this area, you know, all these areas. So they have to break up these certain people to different areas to deal deal with with certain certain things yeah so i think there these are other people that are run under this umbrella and they met up to to figure out what they need to do you know and that's the part i like again going back to the writer and director where they just to you sideline where they thought oh my god they're gonna plant something they're gonna hit them up but conejo comes and just smacks you down uh, yeah. throw that bomb it's creeper. Was, oh my god, dude! That was a pretty intense scene, man. The whole, the whole thing, um, and and the way they they finish, you know. Spoiler alert, guys! Once again, man. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're here after you watched it, I'm pretty sure you're enjoying the show. Uh, the way they kill creeper, uh, I, I, it, it was pretty fucked up, and I think it was too early because <laughs> he wanted to scare these it, people, but, you know. See, but. It is too early, but in real life, there's no early, you know, there's no, there's no, that you are going to stay that long, you know? Yeah. And that's what part I liked it is that we're so immune, so in, with watching these movies and going, okay, the hero is always going to end and that's what we like versus he wanted to show you real life. Like, dude, you might love this guy, but this guy lives in the neighborhood that anything can happen at any time. And it did. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's not going to survive out of this. And and that's what it is, you know? And that's why a lot of people fell in love with um, what's that uh, HBO show? Um, the um, Winter's Coming. Um, God damn it. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> God damn it. Where, uh, I forgot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Game of Thrones, where yeah, you yeah. started off loving the character and they just killed him off in the first and second episode. You're like, <laughs> what the hell? But that's real life. That's what happens. That's, you know, one moment you're here, one moment you're not. You might love me right now, and but then I'm gone tomorrow. Yeah. You know, and that's what and that's what I like about this movie is it's because, oh, my God, you go, oh, my God, they killed him too early. But and if I go, if I'm relating it to real life, but that's life that they're. You know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, I think uh, uh, also too uh, that that's what it was. You know, people were having expectations. Uh, we wanted to see more of Shy, but but the yes. main character was Danny Soto. I, I do feel that that Shy took more more the the the, 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 the movie, but also I think could it be that we. We were expecting Shy to be the main character that maybe once he died, because a lot of people were saying, oh, no, once, once the, uh, Shy died, once Creeper died, the movie just went to to a different side. And I felt like that the first time I watched the movie. But then when I watched it again, I was like, no, because now I was focused 
on, on, on the movie. You know, the character, the story yes. was going on. And there was no, no yeah. little, oh, man, he's dead. Yeah. And, that, and that's the part. I, I love it because, again, when I first watched it, I go, yeah, I felt the same way. I felt, okay, Crapo died. Damn, that sucks. But then you get a focus on him and his vengeance to get revenge or deal with the score that's been dealing that that happened. But then you watch it again, you're like, okay, okay, I understand why he had to die or why this has to die because that's part of life. They're trying to mimic life as close as they can. And okay, now move on. Now you get to focus more on him and his struggles of who, who, where's, what's his next move? Because you look at him as a smart chess player. He's yeah. playing the moves. He's looking at the moves ahead of time and what I need to do. You know what I mean? Or how I need to to deal with this. You know that's how that's how his dad is. You know, yeah. and you you look. You look at all the scenes, even the sign language that he that he oh, that he learned. That, you, that the sign language. Go ahead. Do you want to let's let's jump into 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 the sign language part? But uh -huh. let's make a, a what do you say like a, a eighty second uh, pause. I gotta go get me some more water and you know. Oh no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, <laughs> I'll put I'll put some music right now if you want to dance for them. <laughs> but this is so this this part man you guys are going to be in for for a treat right now what um ernie's going to tell you guys because i i was blown away when you mentioned to me you know the part of, of the sign language and and the story the story be, behind it um shit hold on let me give me a quick i'll, I'll be back give me a couple of seconds i just okay. gotta run and get some water all right perfect do your thing this is awesome. All right, dude. Turn off then. You can hear my kid. He's funny. I love him. Once this is awesome. Uh, it felt great talking about this. I'm loving this. Excited that he invited me in. This is awesome. All right, let's do this. Do 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 do. There's no music, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna play like there's music. Do, 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 do. He's back again. Let's do this. <clears throat> All right. Let me uh, turn off that free royalty free music from YouTube so we don't get hit with copyright. <laughs> 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 no, but man, uh, right now, you know, since I'm, I'm been trying to do the shows without drinking, um, uh -huh. I like them a lot, man. I like them so much. I, I remember uh -huh. stuff. Of course, you know, I want to get turned up, but yes. you know, I just end up forgetting some some stuff to mention. <laughs> but uh, spe speaking of mentioning stuff, I was uh -huh. m uh, blown away when you talked, told me, and explained a little bit more in detail about the the hand signs or that the sign language sign language that they used in the movie. You know, let, let's talk about it. You know. So if, if you can see part of the movie, there's they have the little, little, little pills that, that have things written down. Um, and it's been documented a couple of times that they uh, that uh, prison, you know, uh, the people in prisons create their own language and they're writing and they make it so small that you can barely understand it. And what happens is that certain people get taught this in a young age, how to read this. So in the part where he goes to his uncle talking about the guy that he just barely met at his shop. They were talking, and then his uncle started doing sign language. So what happens yeah, is that like, they're learned on the young age how to talk sign language because they realize that most of the time they're going to get bugged in their own store. So, or, or they have some to, some ways to hear them. So they start talking in sign language inside small coders so they can communicate back and forth so they won't be tapped or heard by the police or the government. So that in the, in the young age – Kids are learn how to do sign language when you're in that type of business, in that type of uh, an environment. So kids are learning how to do sign language so they can communicate because in in the they they they're passing 
how to put it, they're, they're letting their, because you don't, your kid's going to take your position. That's yeah. their goal. And they have to understand certain things that they have to go. So like there's actually, they school these kids in a young age, how to write this way, certain ways, how to, how to write so small, yeah. um, how to teach them in sun language. So, so when they get older, they can do the same thing that they're doing. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. I did notice the little messages that they were writing down on the, um, uh, on the chocolates, piece of paper. Uh, piece of paper. Yes. Also, too, shout out to to uh, to the actress that played the cousin. You know, oh. she she did a, a great a, a great part. You know, um, yes, a great role. And she you, you mentioned that she's a part of a TV show on Netflix, right? I can't remember. I'm, yes, yeah. uh, uh, it's, it's it's she's part of a Netflix show. Uh, um, it's a gentrified, a, gen, uh, something it's about gentrified. Yeah, yeah, so part of where. They, where they have to gentrify, they're gentrifying East LA, and and they open a taco shop and. She's oh, like, she's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, one of the uh, the main girls, she's she does the the, the drawing right on the on the, yes. the art. Yeah, now yes. I remember. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So she's the one that. Yeah, she's the one like no, don't don't change this. Don't you know? She's the one protesting everything. So yeah, so she's a she's one of the main characters in that in that and that's why I recognized her and she did a really good awesome job too as an actor being being part of that neighborhood so but yeah uh, again they that let that just oh my god when they started doing sign language i'm like oh shit, shit. another one so <laughs> that was amazing you know so little hints here and there you're like oh my god they they again the they did their homework they did what they need to do they Again, going back, they just this is just a tip, and that's about it, you yeah. know. Show you, and that's all they can show you. <laughs> yeah. So also too, uh, uh, the, the wife, I, I liked, I liked the way her character was that she was always with him, you know. She, I mean, she was like the accountant, you know, with the money. Yes. Yeah, but it yes. seems like she was also afraid of the dad because where uh, there's a part yeah. in the beginning where, yeah, go for it. So, yeah, so in the beginning, I got confused. I thought that was the dad of hers, you know, because she picked up the phone and they talked. And then can I and then he goes, can I can you pass me out to the, to, you know, for, forget what the, we cause him. And then he just hangs up on him. So I'm thinking, OK, so he's sleeping with the daughters. Oh, the, wizard, main. Uh, the, 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 the main guy, the dad. So I'm like, OK, that's his dad. But you realize in the end, no, it's not. And and the, the relationship between him and his father is so crazy. And, and you're like, oh, my God. But, yeah, the, the wife did an amazing job in, in, in of being the accountant. She knew she was getting into. And then yeah. you brought a good point, too, where you realized how he thought he fell in love with the girl that, was, like, that saw him for him, right? Yes, yes. And then you can see him break down too there where you're going, oh, so our relationship, our love isn't mutual as I thought it was, you know? I saw that part. You, I, yeah, and you brought a good point where you said, you know, like, like I, I, I thought you just fell in love with me, not what you wanted me, yeah. like what I can do. And that, know, so. that part was that uh, she, he asks because he knows shit goes down. Uh, the Conejo comes in, kill, kills the, uh, the, the 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 gang, the big uh, I guess tax other tax collectors that we mentioned. Uh-huh. He uh, yes kills the 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 deal. The uncle cuts off his head, you know, and he knows shit is going down, and, and there's no backup. There's nothing yes. going on. Uh, Creepers done. Creeper unluckily dies yes. really bad. Oh, you know, really, really bad. So once again, <laughs> yeah. if you have kids, <laughs> they smashed his yes. head, right? He, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, and you're getting, you're getting to see because the way Conejo's talking about it, he's like, okay, I'll make them live. I'll make them, you know, live. But he has other plans. I mean, they're breaking his legs. They're doing his things. And then Conejo just does a 360 and just flips it on everybody. He gets angry and pissed and mad. And then he just takes his anger off of into creeper and that's it and you can see the relationship you can see him break down more because he's like dude you just killed my best friend yeah. you know you killed my 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 ride or die homie you know like like dude you you're just destroying me right now and he did you know? it live on face thing- cam remember like yeah. they were watching that shit like on video like 
Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. At that point, at that point, uh, Danny Soto's character he he knows he's there's no backup. There's nobody showing up. Uh, and yep. that, that's another part where I was like, dude, like, uh, where's the other is, uh, <laughs> you know, like the, the other members of his gang or whoever, like, you know, he's <laughs> collecting from. Uh-huh. So I thought I thought um, the the guy from Lomas, the other uh, Hispanic uh, uh, gangs were going to back him up. But um, mm-hmm. he went unluckily a- after, you know. His wife got get killed too. Conejo took yes. the kids. Um, he didn't have nowhere to go. He didn't have nowhere to go. Um, and he ended up at at this, this strip club club where the Bloods yes. were at. And um, yeah, yeah, man. And he talked to the main guy, and the guy is like, "Nah, you know," because they didn't want to let him inside the club, right? They were like, "Nah, what the fuck, you know?" No. And, and they're all no, like, "No." Well, I can't remember the, 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 the part, the beginning. Uh, was it a strip club? Was it a club? I don't know. No, no. It was a it was a house party. There was a house party that they were doing. And he name dropped that person. And oh, and yeah. basically, yeah, he name dropped who he needed to talk to. Because in in certain in that place, you when you're doing that, you, you better understand what that comes with that name drop. So he name dropped him and basically let them in and they, they started talking and I felt you get to, in the ending, you get to understand why the other hoods didn't go and back him up is because you get to see that his dad was basically told, almost told everybody that's, he has to handle this by himself. You know what I mean? Mm. There was two. Now there's one, you know what I mean? So that basically basically how 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 it is you know and and i that's where he wanted to test his son see if we can get through it and how he got through it you know yeah let me make a quick pause right here man uh we got okay. uh people in the chat on youtube um matthias lorenzo uh-huh. saying hello he's like i'm from brazil and i'm learning english and i'm watching some live practice to practice a little bit and then Linear, nice. Cool Matthias. Big shout out to you guys, man. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching the stream. We're talking about the movie, The Tax Collector. Uh, we're, we watched the film and we're talking about the pros, cons, um, good and bads. So, yeah, you're welcome to join us anytime you want. You want to practice English? Go ahead. You know, do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to learn a lot of slang here from Los Angeles, too. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> End up talking like a cholo. Uh, <laughs> so man i'm so I, I, I'm, I'm liking how we're like taking this this whole you know um review and it started from the beginning um i want to make sure i don't i don't miss anything so they end up backing him up they end up backing him up and they're all like no nah, we got you so they go after cornejo after cornejo, yes. i'm sorry what comes next was mind blowing to me too. We see the part that it's crazy because it's you see Cornejo not only getting ready for war, but he's in the middle of a ritual. Yes, that is insane. What what happens there? You know. Yes, and it, and it's it's it it if you follow this type of uh, any news like that, you you understand that they have their own religion and, and their own way of of doing things to get ready. And it goes back to almost the Aztec way. Yeah. You know, you paint your face, you do your thing, you do your ritual to get ready for that war that's coming. You know, they're, they're accepting all the outcomes that can happen, you know, um, and they're going to go down fighting no matter what happens. So, so the ritual is mind blowing because you get to see every aspect's part of it, you know, the, the sacrificing of the chicken, the the the, the spitting, the yeah. the the writing. Oh, that the spitting walls, part, bro. Know? That 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 I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's um uh, um killing the demons. I don't know. I know about yeah, the cigar. Yes. You know about the cigar. Yeah. It's they do. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, keep going, yeah, man. My bad. It, I interrupted you. It, it, no, no, no. It's okay. And then the writings in the wall and and. And, and then you don't see that girl until she comes out of that 
black painted wall because she's the pink same color of that that environment and then yeah. you they that the girl gets sacrificed and you're going okay she's not doing she's on drugs or nothing like that but you don't she doesn't look like it but you have people like again what we talk you have people that are are doing that you know they're yeah they're they'll sacrifice themselves for to, the family for, for, you know for that for religion them. yes yeah yeah this sad religion is deep you know it's it's, it's yes it's really deep it's really deep uh and it's real now i'm not saying you know yes. that people out here they're doing it in <laughs> la i'm just saying you know speaking of <laughs> general speaking about it so yeah yes. so that that happens and they come in you know they the, the whole shooting starts going on and one one part that I, I have to mention and it reminds me of you that uh it shows it shows um Danny Soto's uh, uh, character learning MMA or, or doing jiu-jitsu in the beginning in the beginning of, of remember yes so let me let me dive into that let me dive into that so I like that part now more than ever okay because it because because if anybody who does jiujitsu knows that the people that do jiu-jitsu are computer nerds are are geeks are it, it's it's a lot of chess moves because you have to figure out what you're going to move, what you're going to do and what he's going to do. And if you get caught on it, what you're going to do next. So it's a lot of, where am I going to put my hand to do this, to do that, to end up being doing this. So doing jujitsu makes sense for him to do it. Cause then you can go, okay, that's how oh. he's playing the chess moves. That's how he's smart. That's how he gets to be calm and figure it out. Cause he's like, all right, like, in, let's take back to the club when he sees his uncle dead. You're like, if I do this, this is going to happen. And then this is going to happen. And I don't end up doing this. But if I don't do nothing, I can walk away. And then I can deal with it later. And then that's another chess move. You know what I mean? So yeah. that jujitsu makes a lot of sense now. A lot more sense now of his character. So I love it more now. You know what? I'm glad you, you, you broke it down because uh, it makes sense. And jujitsu, you know, it'd be, you know, it's a martial art. But like you were saying, they use their body weight balance, right? To and yes. now it makes sense about his character. You know, you know, he's he works. His character personality is having balance. You know, and and carrying the weight. Yes, and making sure what's the next move and how I'm gonna deal with this character that's in front of me. Because you got to remember, the character that, he's de- that they're in front of him are killers. And how you're going to deal with a killer, how you're going to talk to a killer, how you're going to deal with that. And if shit gets down, how how am I going to get out of this? You know what I mean? And that and that's why I love that, that jujitsu. I know they just it's a snippet that people think they just threw it in there. But if you go deep on that character, it makes much more sense now for him to do that, you know? Yeah, yeah. I I knew I knew uh, you know when I saw this this the, the first scene in the beginning that he was uh, um you know that he was training. I was like this this going to play a big a big part, you know, later later on. Um Yes. So yeah, so I mean it was on, on his side his character was, you know, he was spiritual, you know, and yes. also too he took care of himself uh, physically, you know, um and tra- trained the body and and, and the mind. Um, yes. Yeah, and the same way, the same way. Once again, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Um, if you guys haven't watched the movie, and this part, uh, I mean, Cornejo, you know, they're fighting, they're going, they're be, you know, they're fighting each other, and Cornejo's uh-huh. beating the brakes out of out of Danny Soto's character, until finally, you know, he remembers the part of, of uh, you know, a judo, oh, is judo, uh-huh. yeah and jiu jitsu i'm sorry yeah and he just out of nowhere he just starts beating the brakes out of him you know and yes the way creeper uh the way conejo k- killed creeper he he smashed his head you know just just all kicks to the face but yeah. with uh danny it, soto does he, he grabs part of the toilet right was it the front part? <laughs> yes the shit was crazy yes. the front yeah, and then he just, this was for my family, and boom, this was for my family, boom, and it just mashes his face, and they're like, oh, my God, and then he just gives up. You know, he's done because he's he's worn out. Yeah. The fire going around him, and then his homie comes in, grabs him, hey, let's, let's go. I got, I got somebody to take care of you. Let's get out of here, you know? So that that's, you know, that that's when you see, that's when you see everything almost put together. When he gets that phone call, that he has with his 
with Wizard finding out that yeah. is his dad, the whole movie comes together. That, that's the part where that that's where you go, oh, okay, now everything's putting together. It makes a lot more sense now. You know, it puts everything's put in place now. You know? Yeah. See that part threw me off. Uh, uh to be honest. That um mm -hmm. it, it threw me off because by that, it, there was so much things going on. There was so much going on, so yeah. much action, you know, and, and so, you know, so many emotions uh, throughout the movie that I even forgot about the uh, about the, the the dad. And at that mm -hmm. part, after he killed Conejo, um, and then, he, like I said, the homie, you know, the 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 the, the leader of the Bloods, he's not like, you know, uh -huh. I'm, you know, let's go, homie, you know, whatever. And he says no, but first, you know, pull to the side. The movie kind of slowed down there, and I forgot. And then the 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 ending the ending uh, wasn't what I wanted because you know when I say I wanted is because I wanted the movie to keep going you know <laughs> so but you broke down the the ending right there and 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 I I didn't notice until you told me about the picture of the kids do you, you mind uh, yes. talking a little bit about that so so you you, you get to you, so the conversation they have and you get to see his dad going basically and no he doesn't he spells it he almost tells him like this was what i want you to go through in another words simple simple terms this is what i wanted you to go through so you can take over wh who i am because his time is up wizard wizard his time is up and he has to get a replacement and the best replacement is his son you know and then his where you hear soto say i really don't want this yeah. You know, I, I, this is not what I wanted. And that's where they hang up. And then you can, his wizard, his dad goes, I'm sorry, Miko. And then you can see the pictures of the kids' drawings yeah. of Soto's kids' drawings. So you get the sense maybe, okay, so I have to really force you. And the only way to force you is to take away your kids, you know? Yeah. So, because so that, that's what I, yeah, because uh, real, real quick, uh, we he uh, Cornejo killed the, the the wife. I don't know if we mentioned that, but yes, but yeah, no, no, we didn't. Yeah, he meant yeah. The wife gets gets mentioned in there, um, and and that's where he really breaks down. That's when he realized that shit. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not really I am. I'm. I heard it. The person that would cared about me. But at the same time, you didn't fall in love with me. You fall in love with the character of the hero that I always portrayed in the neighborhood because you wanted me to do something. So there was a conflict of emotions with his wife anyways in there. But that broke him and basically realized, OK, is this is this who I want to be? Is this what I want to move forward? You know, or, you know, I want to spend time more with my kids and be this guy you know and but his dad has other plans for him yeah seeing that that part that part uh i was like man if there's uh you're the one that made me think about it okay when he because i didn't realize he looked at the picture of the kids and uh <laughs> and then Say i was like Hi. hello <laughs> <laughs> no and uh I was, I was like is he gonna kill the kids yeah go for it Daddy, are you done yet? No, no, no. Hold on, Papa. Oh, Hold on. <laughs> okay. We're all set. No, yeah, that's that. That was the that was the release. All right, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no worries. No, so that, so now it's making me think. Are they are they gonna? I, I mean, there's gonna be a sequel for sure. There's gonna yes. be a sequel for sure. Um. Now, when you said the dad's time is up. The question I was asking myself too, it made me think. The time the, was the time up because he wants to to pass the, the throne or, or the, the crown to to Danny Soto's uh, character, or is he in fear that he's going to be killed? You know what I mean? Because they already have some somebody trying to move in and take over yes. for him. Yes, and then you can hear him in his voice where he says, "I have the devil on my side." Um, come you know here next to me so basically he i kind of realized that he kind of realizes that my, his time might be up and he needs to be he needs to be replaced and that's and and that's his way to be replaced by his son and um 
So you can hear in his in his voice, uh, and you get to see his reaction of his face, of okay, you know. And then uh, when he says, "Okay, I don't want to do this," you can see his dad's reaction is like, "Okay, then I have to really force you to do this because yeah. I need oh. someone to take over this." You know, I killed, I sent, I killed my brother already. You know, George Lopez is dead. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, there's no other people better than what you do. You do it really well, you know, because you're super smart. You're smart in, in the way of handling things. You basically, when he talks to the Bloods, when he talks to other people, you can see the smartness conversation that he has with each other, with the characters. You can see that in his character going, okay, I can and I can talk to anybody and and, and do that. Or I can let my enforcer do what he needs to do, and uh, most of the times you don't want the enforcer to do what he needs to do, and and that and Soto does never wants the enforcer to happen. He just wants to pay me, do what you need to do. Let's get over it. I'm talking to you the best way so you can understand this, and and let's move on forward. So you have no other you have a, no other better person to replace Wizard. Than his own son because the way he does, the way he handles certain situations, and you can see it throughout the movie. Yeah, yeah, man, you just you just uh, answered another one of my questions, and I I, I, I think we, we when we were like chatting last time, um, uh-huh. I asked you, um, but how come how come he didn't kill the the cousin and and the you know the rest of the family? You, you just answered my 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 question right there is because. It's it. This was a hit to Danny Soto's character, direct family, because yes, because the wizard he's not gonna go and kill the, the rest of the family because they they yes. still need the cousin you know the female cousin yes. you know to be doing the pickups and you know because she was in charge of it, like they'll do the pickups and she'll come in and just take the yes. money. Yeah. So, man, we we talked almost about everything. I know it's pretty pretty long. But uh, before I hang up, though, I want to make sure again one that uh, give a shout out man, to your your podcast and also to you know to let the people know what's up, you know what you, what you do, what you guys do, and where they can contact. Okay, you. so yeah, so so my podcast is Artistic Flavors. You can follow us on Spotify um, on, or Instagram, Artistic Flavors, or Facebook, um, and it's a wife and mom. It's a wife and husband business where my wife's the super artist. She's the Filipino Marta Stewart because nice. she does everything. She sews, she resins, uh, she paints, uh, she she makes his dresses. She's making masks, um, and wow. then I'm the guy that that knows how to deal with the machines, like the laser cutter, the 3D printer, the websites, the graphics. So it's a tag team, and um, it's a good relationship between me and my wife. It, it really is. I can't find another better partner than her. Blessings, man. Yeah, please say say hi to to, to her. And uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, so and you guys, what do you guys talk about on your podcast? Ooh. Just want want to make sure that people know, so you know, oh, they, they don't go expecting. So we go. So we go all over the place. Okay, uh, good. Uh, so we talk about politics. We talk about the inside and out of conventions and how uh how we started how we did it what we're working on uh, uh we talked about certain things that's happening around you know what's happening now or how we're you know just a lot of stuff it's a mixture of a lot of stuff it's a mixture about politics money um it, it's just like what you do it, 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 what you do and you do it really well so it's basically it, it's basically you but different point of views yeah, it's yeah like my wife my wife grew up in the same neighborhood but she grew up in a different she viewed it in a different way versus mm. i grew up almost in the same neighborhood and i view it in a different way and we bring our two opinions together and we argue we argue and we oh, love it I, i'm gonna check out this i like yeah i like arguments yeah. <laughs> but not mine but yes. you know, other people <laughs> <laughs> so that last one we did we did we did argue because we go back and forth but but we end up we we love each other so it's all good that's good that's good yeah no man thank you thank you so much you know for being being part of the show today and you know helping me uh do this this uh review and of the movie uh before i close it uh what was it that you you, you liked and uh was uh, you didn't like about the movie so i like 
what I like the most is the united. Again, I'm gonna go back. It's the different relation. It's it's the relationship between between Creeper and Soto uh, of them. They're 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 two different point of views of people. One, you know, they, but they came together to do a job and they loved each other and they moved forward. That's the part I love the most. That that you get two different people that that have different views and then they can get along with each other and do what they need to do. The point that I didn't like is that I wanted more depth on the relationship between him and, and, and the, and the bloods, how, how the main guy, how the relationship grew, how, you know, they're tied, but you didn't realize how and why they have that bond. You Mm. know what I mean? So that, that's the only point that I didn't like. Good. Yeah. Me and my my case, I mean, I like the whole movie, and also too, I um, I wish uh, they would have gave a little bit more background story, a certain part. Uh, everything was great. Uh, to be honest, it's not with the with the, a trail. I mean, the the preview of the trailer or whatever bullshit they <laughs> try to feed us. Yes. Uh, I think Buzz Buzzfeed was one of the websites that was I don't know if sharing or promoting, but um, so. It was. I think it was a, a, a good uh, uh, marketing strategy, you know, to get everybody to watch. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. um, I think well, the main thing I didn't like was that I think it, 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 they did this movie. They finished the movie in a rush, and yes. but um, the the good thing um, is that. If they do sequels or pre sequels, then then I'm gonna be yes. I'm gonna be so 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 happy and looking forward to it. Um, yes. So man, I know it's getting pretty late, man. I'm having a lot of fun. We can talk a, a lot more, and I try to <laughs> squeeze it in, you know. But but I was trying to cover uh-huh. almost everything everything we could, and I think we we did, you know. And, Perfect. Uh, yeah, for the people watching right now live, thank you guys so much, man. Head on over to YouTube and uh, type in Activate LA. Uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, to leave your comments in the, uh, below in the comment section if there's parts that you agree with us, maybe there's parts that you don't agree, or if there's parts that you think, you know what, we forgot, leave, leave them in the comment section below, man. I'm going to leave the, the whole stream for a couple of days, and then I'm going to do go ahead and uh, do some edits on it. But... Uh, Ernie, man, thank you so much, man. And it's always good to talk to you. Good, too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, brother. Have a good one. All right, peace. Peace.